As the father of the bride, I am honored and privileged to welcome you all to a wonderful day to celebrate the marriage of Amelia and Henry. As parents, we all live in hope that one day our daughters will find a partner, settle down and get married. And we all want the very best for our daughters and hope they find the right one. The one that will make them happy, love them unconditionally, cherish them and who will stand by them no matter what may come. I honestly believe Amelia could not have met and fallen in love with anyone better. Nikki and Steve, your son is an absolute credit to you both. So, Henry, I say welcome to our family. We know you will make an amazing son-in-law. You clearly adore and love, I'm sorry, Amelia, my baby girl. You always have and known you will always look after her. And what more can parents ask for their daughter? Princess, I have to tell you, you look positively radiant and very regal in that beautiful wedding dress. Finally, I would like to propose a toast to the happy couple, to a very long, happy, healthy future together. So ladies and gentlemen, Mr. and Mrs. Scanlon. Let's be upstanding as we welcome Amelia on her father's arm. I, Henry Richard William, take you, Amelia Ellen Marie, to be my wife. I, Amelia Ellen Marie, take you, Henry Richard William, to be my husband. Henry and Amelia have given their consent and made their marriage vows to each other. They've declared their marriage by the joining of hands and by the giving and receiving of rings. I therefore proclaim that they are husband and wife. from Henry how beautiful and romantic his proposal was in Italy. However, on the big day, Henry was so nervous about getting everything organised on time and worrying about getting onto a rocky boat without losing the engagement ring or his fiancée-to-be, Amelia snapped and said, Henry, why are you stressing out so much? You're ruining the day. <laughs> <laughs> and just when Amelia thought things couldn't get any worse, Henry proposed to her. <laughs> When you have friends who are as close as the three of us are, there's always a worry when someone gets a new partner, that you might not like them, or they might not be quite right for your friend. As soon as we met Amelia, it was clear we had nothing to worry about. Amelia is a warm, kind, and fun person, and I think anyone would struggle to not get along with her. To the bride and groom, you both deserve a life full of fun, happiness, and love, and we have no doubt that is exactly what you'll give to each other. I didn't think you could look any more incredible, but yet again you've proven me wrong. Seeing you walk down the aisle simply took my breath away, and I feel like the luckiest man in the world. Now some people think when you find the one you know from first meeting, 
However, for me, it wasn't until the next time I saw Amelia, this time at a netball social with the theme Nature and Wildlife. Most of Amelia's friends were dressed in yellow and black striped dresses as bees, and Amelia was dressed in a white overall with netting over her head and face, leaving no skin uncovered, holding a jar of honey. <laughs> and it was at that moment that I knew she was a keeper. I love how you always get your sayings mixed up. How you get excited when you see a cocker spaniel in the street. How you play the same three songs in the shower and sing along. I love that you've made me want to travel more and I look forward to all the adventures we have to come. And I love how we share the same sense of humour and can make each other laugh just with a glance. I can't wait to spend the rest of our lives together.